Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and unboxing the Lux Power Galaxy 400. This is a bike light and it has 400 lumens. It's extremely lightweight and pretty cool. It has a bunch of different options. So I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Then we'll get it outside and I'll get it on my bike and I'll show you how bright it gets. So let's see what we got here. First off, we have a dear valued customer. That's kind of cool. Thanks for being one of the first customers to purchase the new Galaxy 400 bike light. So awesome. And we have a one year hassle free warranty. That's kind of cool. Do not over tighten mount. Caution. Okay. Duly noted. Package contents and basically how to charge it and whatnot. Cool. And here we go. So first things first, you have your USB to micro USB charging cable, little flat cable. So stuff that back in there. You have your mount, which is a one of these kind of deals. And just loosen that. And that's going to secure around your handlebars or your helmet mount. And then that's like that. We'll tighten it back down. You have a, this is a rear bike light that has multiple little flashers on it. On, flashing, and then off. And it comes with a second one. Same kind of thing. So you get two of those. I don't know why they give you two, but that's cool. And then here's your light. This thing is tiny. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to get my scale. I want to see how heavy this thing weighs. This is 1.7 ounces. So this thing is next to nothing. So here's the light right here. You have an on off button. On the top here you do have a little indicator that tells you how much battery power is left. And then there's your little flap. And that's what's, how you're going to recharge it. So. Get your charging cable, plug that in just like that, and then you plug this in to a USB port, and then this light will recharge. Now you don't really get very much cable, but you get enough. Close that up. There's the front side of the uh, light right there. Hit the power button on once, turns it on, hit it again, drops down a, a level, drops down another level. And then it goes to a flash and then off. So while it's on, I mean, this thing is it's pretty bright. Yeah, it's 400 lumens on high. And it has four settings. So high, medium, low, and flash. Overall design, I think it is pretty cool. Ease of use, it's pretty easy to operate. Um, it does have a nice little reflector on the inside here. So you can see how that's going to produce a nice wide beam. And so let's get this thing on the mount. I want to say this thing slides in just like that. So you would push down on this little guy and that thing slides right out. That little channel right there is what that connects to. Slides in clips in place and this thing is not going anywhere more importantly it doesn't rattle which is a good thing all right as for the little tail lights you do have this little s clip on the back here and these two little bungees so this thing kind of just folds around and you kind of just tuck it in there just like that and that's what's going to hold on to your seat post and i'll put this on my seat post later and i'll show you how bright it gets uh, once the sun goes down all right so when it's on its mount, it's pretty solid. It's not going to come off, but it the mount is pretty sturdy. But these are, I, this is a 29er specialized camber comp. And these are just regular Bontrager bars. So this, the light comes on and off pretty easy. The downside to it is with this mount, they don't really give you a whole lot of room. Because my bars are tapered, so they're skinny here and then they get fat towards the stem. 
So, I mean, I'm at this thing at max capacity, and I'd like to usually get it as close to the stem as possible, but I can't, just because it's already maxed out as much as it'll go. Now, if I flip this thing up like that, let me flip this around, you can kind of see. So, this thing is at full capacity, but if I kind of tighten this thing anymore, it'll pop out. So, I mean, for right now, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. I loosen it, this thing will pop out just like that and then I can take this off but I'm at max stretch right now this thing is not gonna go really any further if I tighten it here it's not gonna go anywhere so that's pretty solid all right so just a slight negative with the tail light <clears throat> the tail light doesn't have any rake to it so when you put it on your seat post if your seat post is angled or your frame is angled like mine is it points downward. I wish it was more raked upward so where it would kind of shine above my tire. Right now at night it's going to shine on the top of this tire so um, it's still going to increase visibility however um, I just wish that it was more pointed upwards like this instead of straight. Other than that you know it is what it is. Still pretty cool. It does have side view which I like so this would be a great bike light for a kid uh, for a kid's bicycle. I uh, usually like something a little bit more brighter for my tail light, but for what it is, it's okay. So let's get this thing on my bike and we'll see how bright it gets. All right guys, so I'm outside with the Lux Power bike light and I have this uh, backdrop of a youth softball field uh, behind me just as a comparison, just so you can see how bright the light gets. So I'm gonna turn it on. That's on high, medium, low, and then strobe or flash. And you push it again, turns it off. So on high, I'm pretty decent, I mean, I'm gonna kind of back the bike up a little bit just so you can kind of get a perspective. Nice wide beam with a spot in the middle. So I'll get this over by the trees and I'll show you how bright this thing just kind of looks, you know, if you're on your bike at night. All right, so I have it on my handlebars and I'm just gonna shine it on some trees uh, little small little saplings right here this park across the street from my house so that's on high and let's see if I can maybe adjust this up a little higher so there we go oops <clears throat> so that's on high it's not a bad amount of light I mean it's only 400 lumens but I mean you could feasibly get by with this you know minimal trail riding I like to use a lot more light than just this, but you put it to medium, you get down to low, and then you're on your flash. You push it again, turns off. So as I said, that's on high, and it's decent. All right, guys. So that's my review of the Lux Power Galaxy 400 bike light. Now you can mount this to the handlebars or to your helmet, either which way. But for, you know, a, a very entry level bike light, this is great. This would be great for a kid. Um, holidays are coming, so this would make a great Christmas gift as well. The only negatives I would say about this bike light is that number one, there's no um, information on the packaging of how big the battery is in here. So, you know, that kind of stinks. Like I'd like to know how big the milliamp battery is. So aside from that, the that's pretty much the only negatives I can come up with. Um, I would have liked to have seen a better case on the actual bike light. So for an entry level bike light that puts out about 400 lumens, this thing is actually pretty nice for what it is. Uh, the mount is a little cheap. Um, I wish it was uh, had some bigger options so for bigger handlebars. As I said, I like to get it more closer to the stem uh, because my handlebars are tapered. but. For an entry level bike light, this would be great for a kid. All in all, the Lux Power uh, Galaxy 400, it's a pretty, pretty nice little bike light. As I said, this thing is really inexpensive, makes a great uh, gift. 
and would be a nice little backup light for maybe a helmet light or something like that. Somebody who's just getting into mountain biking doesn't want to spend a ton of money on a, on a, a bike light. This is a great way to do it. This is also a great light for a commuter. So would I use this on the trail? No, I just, I like more light, you know, while I'm trail riding at night. But for a commuting bike light, this thing is great. It's perfect and it's super inexpensive. So if you like my review and found it informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Another way to help support is to click on that I button right up here. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars and that's gonna allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. If you guys have any questions or comments about the light, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave them down in my comments section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's a like button right down here. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trailer Mountain's YouTube channel. The best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, trailermountain.com. When you go there in the lower right hand corner of the screen, there's going to be a little pop up where you can put in your email address and click submit. When you do that, you're going to have access to my website. There's also some exclusive content that's only on my website that's not on my YouTube channel. So definitely the best place to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on. On a side note, we're also doing a 222 mile through hike of the John Muir Trail. We're supporting big city mountaineers. Here's the picture right up here. When you click on that picture, it's going to go right to a website where you can make a tax deductible donation. So I set a goal for $10,000 to raise. Uh, we're heading out on the trail about August, September. Uh, 2017 and we have a, almost a full year to raise ten thousand dollars is what the goal I set so we've already had a couple of donations so thank you to those who have already donated but I am putting together a bunch of different gear uh, into a big gear gift basket that I'm gonna raffle off so stay tuned for a video on that so thanks again for tuning into my latest video I really appreciate it please keep checking back for more gear reviews outdoor related hodgepodge gear talk and giveaways take care guys get outdoors